Where the road ends, the walk begins. The order of the day is acclimatization, both to our immediate surroundings and the altitude that lies up the trail. We'll move slow at first and hope to adapt as we go. Free of our reliance on motorized modes of travel, we begin our trek to the so-called Green Hotel, a popular campsite for trekkers and the most direct access to numerous high peaks. Above the Green Hotel, we'll be able to do some skiing on the Jantugan Glacier and shake off the stiffness of half a world's worth of travel. But first our legs will have to endure the long hike in and an evening in camp waiting for the morning when, finally, we'll get to do more with our skis than just carry them. On the other side of the ridge we climb is the independent Republic of Georgia, once the breadbasket of the Soviet Union, and now an uncomfortable neighbor to the south. It's close enough we could be there in an hour, but dangerous enough along the border that we choose to remain here on the safe side, behind the protective wall of the Caucasus. I reckon now what we should think of doing is sorting out all the, um, the gear, the skiing gear, so tomorrow morning, um, up at, up at six, 6 for breakfast, and we can just get going straight away, yeah? Yeah, I'm going to leave all the heavy stuff in my tent. Like the, the skis? Hike. No, the skis and the boots I think I'm going <laughs> to take, take with but the sleeping bag and everything else oh, is yeah, yeah, absolutely. Travel light. So, uh, guys, why don't you give us a little conditions update? Um, I think the conditions... Up here are pretty icy, pretty thin snowpack, a lot of open crevasses and berg shrubs and whatnot. A little thinner than I had expected this time of year, but I think it'll be pretty good. Um, we're just up here now to get acclimatized and um, get some turns in. And, you know, whatever we do tomorrow, I think it'll increase our chances of success on Elbrist for next week. <laughs>